Hey everyone, welcome back. And this is my review of Hero or uh, of a Boku no Hero Academia episode or chapter one. Okay, this is a manga that I've been meaning to check out for a while now. Not really a while, but since a few weeks ago, actually, when I first found out about it. Because people have been constantly saying that this is like Naruto in the beginning, the series, okay? And a lot of people have been dubbing it as the next Naruto. And so I'm going to assess if I think they're right or if I think they're full of shit. As a longtime Naruto fan, I'm going to assess whether I think they're right or whether they're full of shit, yeah. Right off the bat, I can say there are definitely similarities, but there's a lot, a lot of obvious differences, okay? And I'm, I'm not even going to go into detail about the main theme, which is that the main theme of Naruto is obviously about ninjas, where this is about these peop heroes with random abilities that fight off villains with random abilities that they're just born with, okay? That's the obvious difference. Obviously, it would be a ripoff if it tried to be about ninjas as well. Unless they actually were real ninjas. If they, here, it's no, okay, no. So, anyways, though, other than that, there are definitely some similarities. Okay, first off, the main character. I keep hearing people tell me the main character is just like Naruto. He's similar, but Naruto. The only thing I can honestly say, think that they share is the fact that Naruto was a wimp in the beginning. Because this guy is a wimp on the outside, too. Alright, Naruto, at least he put up a front on the outside. Okay. This kid isn't even <laughs> doing that. Well, at least with the first chapter he didn't. At the end of the chapter, he got a bit more confident, so he might actually... In fact, I don't remember what his name was, but that bully kid in his class, I actually thought was more like Naruto than this main character, Izuku. And the main character is Izuku, but that kid that was bullying him in class, I honestly thought his personality... In a way, was a bit more like Naruto, because he was constantly boasting about how he's going to be the best. He's going to be the best of all heroes, okay? Just like Naruto wanted to be the best of all ninja. He wanted to be the Hokage. So, he's really more like Naruto than the main character is, at least right now, okay? That being said, this kid, like that bully kid, is a dick, is a douche, okay? Uh... Now, we haven't got any backstory on him yet, so they could make him sympathetic. I don't know if they're going to or not. By the way, apparently there's like 19 or 20 chapters out in Japan yet, and the Scandalations have yet to actually catch up to it. I don't think there's any official translations out for this series yet. But with, in terms of the Scandalations, I think they've only got to like chapter 10. So it's probably going to take a little while before they actually get too up, caught up to the actual series itself. So I'm going to try... To do one of these, a, like one or two of these a day, so that I can catch up to the scandalations, okay? Because I really do want to review this weekly. Alright, because it is in Weekly Shonen Jump, that's another reason why people are saying, you know, it's in Weekly Shonen Jump as well. So, yeah. So, in terms of characters, alright, let's start out, well, let's start with the plot. The plot so far seems pretty basic. Now, I'm not sure if they're going to... I'm not sure if they're going to get make it more complicated or if they're going to keep it simple. Because for the most, because if you're comparing it to Naruto, then for the most part, Naruto had a pretty simplistic plot. There were characters that did try to complicate things a bit more, like Itachi, for example. He was a pretty complicated character, and his beliefs were really complicated, okay, and really complex. But for the most part, Naruto was a really simplistic series, okay. It wasn't too complicated. I'm not sure if they're going to keep that here or if later on they're going to get more complicated. This might just be a generic shonen battle series with a unique premise. I don't know. Okay. But so far, there's not really a whole lot to say in the plot because this is just the first chapter, okay? Um, in terms of characters, we have three, like, major characters so far. I'm not really going to count Izu, 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 Izuku's mother because she doesn't really get much screen time. I can't really, I will say one thing about her though, I can't really tell if she's a bitch or if she's truly concerned about her son. Because the way she was crying over her son not having an uh, individuality, which is what these powers are called, it seems like 
I can't tell if she's truly concerned about him or if she's embarrassed by him. If it's the latter, then she's just a bitch, okay? <laughs> Quite honestly. Um, so the, th there's only really three major characters so far. There's Izu Izuku, who, like I said before, he's a pretty good character so far. The only thing Trachy really shares with Naruto, though, is that they were both wimps in the beginning. Okay, and obviously he's going to become uber fucking powerful, probably completely fucking broken by the time the series comes to a close, provided, provided it doesn't get axed, which this series has been dominating the fucking rankings, from what I understand, so I doubt it will get axed. Okay, okay. but, yeah, because, you know, series get axed all the time, like Iron Knight, I fucking miss Iron Knight, but this series doesn't seem like it will get axed for a it seems like it's going to have a good long run, which is really good, because it's starting off strong. Okay. But anyways, though. And so, yeah, Izu Izuku's not, not much to say about him, except that he seems like a good character from the start. Uh, even though he's a wimp, it's not like the type of overbearing type of wimp that I just can't stand, where he clearly wants to get stronger. He's not completely sulking, grieving, all depressed and shit, which is the type of shit that I hate. He truly wants to get stronger, and he the reason he didn't believe that he could get stronger is because, well, he believed that he could for a while, but after a while he started losing faith in it, is because he doesn't have an, an individuality. It's extremely rare, but once in a while, people can be born without individualities. Okay, I, I forget what the explanation was. It was a pretty elaborate and inter interesting explanation. I just forget what it was, though, exactly. Okay, and so, but the, uh, hero known as Almighty, okay, who he meets in this episode, who's a pretty famous hero, ends up convincing him otherwise. At first, Almighty was saying, you know, you can't be a hero, trying to give, give him an alternative like being a cop or something if all he wants to truly do is help people, which is a good alternative, I suppose, if you want to help people. But at the end of the, ch the chapter, he apologizes and basically says, "You can become a hero." I'm not sure if this means that he's going to become, if uh, Almighty's like going to become his mentor. Because another, the next character I do want to talk about is Almighty. So I guess I'll just segue into that. Almighty seems like a pretty interesting character so far too. But he basically shows Izuzu, I Izu, Izuku, right off the bat, the reality of being a hero. Basically, takes off his shirt and shows him a caping fucking wound that he suffered five years ago apparently and because of that he's he can stay all muscular and help people be a hero for up to three hours a day at a time but after that he gets all skinny and bony and shit and he looks nothing like he normally does and he can't i'm guessing he can't use any of his abilities or anything like that okay so it's really interesting like he wanted to be a hero and then he suffered and then he paid the price for it and he can still technically be a hero, but it's nothing like it used to be, basically. So I thought that was really interesting, how he basically showed uh, Izuku the reality of being a hero right there, okay? But Izuku still wants to be a hero, okay? And that's another trait, I guess you could say, he shares with Naruto is his determination, which is very strong here, okay? Then, of course, the third major character in this, third and final major character in this chapter was that douchebag bully, which I cannot remember his name, like I said before, he shares traits with Naruto as well, such as wanting to be the best and constantly gloating about it. That's the big thing. Naruto always gloated about him wanting about wanting to be the greatest shinobi, wanting to be the fucking Hokage. And this dude is constantly gloating about wanting to be the greatest of the heroes. And I think he said some sort of like some sort of like an achievement that the greatest heroes get or something that he wants to acquire. Or maybe like a statue that he wants to arrive at or something like that. Okay. And the thing is, Naruto was a sympathetic character. This dude so far is not. However, again, it's only the first chapter. So I'm not going to say that he's a complete douche until we get further into it. Maybe he'll get a sympathetic backstory or something like that to make us actually care for the character. But so far he just seems to be kind of an ass. Okay. So that's it in terms of characters. In terms of art, it's per... Man. Nothing really for me to say good or bad about it. I like the art. I like looking at it. It kind of reminds me of Naruto's art, which I think is another thing that people were saying about the art in this series is that, is that it's a lot like Naruto's art. Another another thing they're saying that's similar to, about the series, which is absolutely true. Okay, the series, 
the, the art in the series is very similar. Um, so yeah, so, and the, and the first chapter length, like always, is pretty long, like 53 pages long, I think it was, because there's really, like, it, it that was before it was actually serial, serialized, of course. So, overall, if you've yet to watch or start reading this manga that I definitely recommend that you do, I'll be reviewing this chapter by chapter, like I said before, I'll try to get out, I think I'll try to get out, like, one or two chapters a day, just so I can catch up to the, uh, or one or two chapter reviews a day, just so that I can catch up to the manga quickly, because this won't take me very long, okay? And I'm going to try to get back to One Piece and Toriko soon, okay? But anyways, though, overall, I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you after you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.